Uh, all the actors here have many opportunities in their life. We could have gone many different directions. So how did we find ourselves you know, up the hill doing classical theater? And uh, to a man uh, and a woman in the conversation, everybody had some moment somewhere. It was either an actor or a show, something they had seen when some point in their career that changed them. They saw something of, of, of this nature. I'm, I'm speaking kind of particularly about classical dance text. And um, almost everybody saw something that really changed their life and made them want to do that. And I had, I had a story like that. Mine was um, when I was a, uh, a young man um, <laughs> in my early 20s. I was still, I used to be, I worked on open boats off Long Island. I was still a fisherman. I dropped out of college twice and I was back in college for the third time. I was in a community college and there was a theater appreciation course and I was still working on the boats weekends mm -hmm. and summers. And this teacher, Richard Johnson, who is one of my best beloved friends now, 25 years later, took us on a class trip to see a show in New York. And I had never been to New York to see a show. We live on Long Island. You don't go to the city. <laughs> it's a city from Long Island. Um, so he took me to see a show. And the show was Acting Shakespeare by Dean McKellen um, uh, before he was Gandor. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Gandor's great. <laughs> but I got, to, I got to see this show. And uh, I, uh, uh, it was actually, it wasn't the first play I'd seen. I saw another play in school. but. But the play changed my life. And what it did was, um, first of all, I've never felt more out of place anywhere in my life than in a theater in New York. And, um, and it was Shakespeare to boot, which I always hated. You know, to be really honest, I hated Shakespeare. I was just talking to a patient about this. And my experience was reading Julius Caesar out loud in English class. And it was just horrific. I didn't understand anything. I felt stupid. And I went to this show, and Ian McKellen came out and was on stage very much like this. He did it in all in small houses. And he had a chair, and that was it. There was nothing else. I remember he came out, and I just, it was the first, I remember to this day understanding Shakespeare for the first time. And it was just this moment in my life, it was like, I'm not dumb, it's, you know, I, I can, and I was getting this stuff, and it excited me. And for some reason I said, I want to do that. I wanted to be like that guy. And I didn't know how to do it, I was still working on the fish and boats, and, and I just wanted to do what he was doing, it seemed so exciting. And to this day, I swear, I remember, and I'm not lying, I can remember, like, the ass's head on bottom when he did bottom. And I, and I can see, um, there's, I can see this whole forest scene, and um, I can see there's a crown, and, and I can see the boar's head tavern, and, and there was nothing on the stage. It was just him. He was in slacks and white shirt. And he did all that. To this day, I can see that vividly. And um, so I got this idea. That I have a lot of wild ideas, so I just, I was thinking about that play. And, uh, I've written two one-person shows for this theater, and I was trying to think of another one. And I had this wild hair, so I just, I found his website, big thing of Gandor, you know, from, <laughs> and all this stuff. And in the bottom it has like um, uh, some of the stage credits. And I found, you know, if you dig through all the, there's his stage credits in there. And I, I found his agent, and I, and I wrote him, I said, uh, I just want to query him to see if the rights uh, were open or not. For the show, I said, I'd like to do a, an adaptation of his play. I work for Classical Theater Company. So some guy wrote back, and he says, James, I forwarded your request to Sir Ian's secretary. I think the rights are held by Andrew Suskind. Sincerely, Keith Stern. And then I kind of forgot about it. About a month later, I get another one from Louise Hardy, Sir Ian's uh, secretary. And she says, Ian McKellen is happy for you to perform your version of Acting Shakespeare. <laughs> the credit should read, Acting Shakespeare was compiled and written by Ian McKellen. All best wishes. 